What's happening everybody? It's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 and uh, today it's kind of a midweek thing. It's Wednesday. I believe it's the 15th. I'm just uh, kind of just saying what's up. It's just a quick what's up and this I'm, I'm gonna make some pesto right now. I've been actually chopping down some basil as you can see right here. These are chopped down. Um, just kind of just kind of chopping things down on that basil. I mean, it, you know, the last thing you want is a fire hazard. You see what's going on here? You see this basil right there? Okay, it's getting too high to the plant. What starts to happen, what starts to happen is, look at all this basil I already, I just chopped down. Okay, I got this entire bushel. And I'll tell you, you stuff these, uh, you stuff these leaves into like a little mixer and uh, it, it actually doesn't produce as much as you would think. These, these things just get, you know, pulverized. So you need quite a bit. And for, uh, for pesto, um, comment down below your pesto recipe. I mean, from my understanding, this is what my wife told me. You take a bunch of basil leaves, some olive oil, some pine nuts, and some cheese. So like some sprinkle cheese, some Parmesan cheese. And that's it. And a little bit of garlic. A little bit of minced garlic. And that's it. That's how I do my pesto. I've been eating a little bit of this uh, lettuce. Oh my god, look at this. Look how big that lettuce leaf is. That's incredible. Oh my god. Look at this. That's incredible. They look so healthy and beautiful. That is ridiculous. Look at that thing. Oh my god. I just got my seeds, guys. I got some seeds for sugar baby watermelons. I got some seeds for, what else did I get? I got my spinach seeds that I'm actually, I've had them, but I am in the process of germinating them as we speak. Should be another, maybe week until they're done germinating and I'm ready to uh, put them into the rock wall. Unfortunately, you know, right now the situation is with this broccoli at the bottom here. If you guys are new, I have a huge broccoli plant down here. This thing is just super crazy. It's growing so fast. Let me see if there's anything new. Not yet. Not yet there. And I got another one way far back there. I might start chopping some of these um, lower branches down. I haven't even tried this purple basil yet. Let me see if it, uh, the smell is interesting smell. Oh, maybe I'll try some in the salad tonight. Just try to throw it in there see what's going on this stuff is looking beautiful isn't it look at these colors unbelievable look at that is that incredible I know you guys are getting a really nice up close shot that is awesome isn't that beautiful and that's what I got going on right now so yeah I just wanted to uh, you know do a quick rant just kind of say hi to everybody Things are moving along with that forum that I promised you guys. Soon, we will be able to share images, discuss things in a more for, in, in a more like kind of organized manner. This will give us a great edge on really developing a community that will allow us to create a far reach and really get to know each other you know, from all different areas of the world. That, that's just going to be so fantastic. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to really get to know people on a more personal level on things that we all want to do. You know, and I, and I know, you know, I mean, let me tell you guys, the subscriber base right now is out of control. I mean, there is a ton of people that are subscribing, which is so awesome. I think I'm at like 1,200 subscribers now, hopefully in the next two months. We'll be over 2,000, and I'm, I'm praying that I hit that 5,000 mark by the end of 2017, as I promised. So, look, okay, so actually, as I'm ending this video, I'm going to be doing an upcoming video on doing a basil cloning. So, for a lot of you new people or amateurs, just in general, regarding doing hydroponic growing or growing in general, um, when you're doing cloning and what that means is basically as you see things that are grown here okay you look for a specific particular branch that has a particular type of growth 
that I could snip a certain way and then put it into the growing medium and it will develop this entire plant directly from the current plant. Um, as of right now, it looks like I chopped a decent amount off, but nope, here we go. So, for example, this branch right here, you see it? I want to show you guys. You see at the top how we have one leaf here, one leaf here, one leaf here, and another leaf here? Okay, that's a pretty mature plant. Basically, I would snip this leaf off, I would snip this on the other side off, and I would cut this at like a 45 degree angle directly on this one stem right here, and then plant that one stem into our growing medium, and uh, it should grow, it should develop, and it should start to root. It's really cool. It's interesting, I've actually done it before, and it's worked fantastic. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And second, to in the next couple days, I'm going to come back with another video. As you can see here, there's a decent amount of space between the, um, the basil right now. I just want to come back and I want to show it on record on how quick the basil grows. It's unbelievable. Like, you see all these little, little guys right here? Okay, they grow so rapidly. This whole thing just starts bushing out. It's incredible. I love growing my own food and my own plants indoors. This is, I'm going to cut this one down right here. And that's it. And tonight I'm going to enjoy a huge salad with all of this fun stuff that I got going on here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Tomorrow's Thursday. Thank God for that. Give me the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and share. I'll talk to you guys soon.